Okay, in this video, we are going to set up a third party service. Now, in, uh, before we just used uh, the WP email system that's built in using the host's own limits, but we're going to take it a little more advanced just to show you how to set up a third party system. Now, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, Amazon SES allows you, as I said, to send out 10,000 emails per day. You can send out more, but you have to build up a little bit of a reputation with them first. Um, they don't like a lot of um, spam, so they tend to keep you under a little bit of a watch for a little while until you've uh, proven yourself that you're not a crazy spammer abusing their system. And one of the strategies we suggest when you're using a third party system for the first time is send out a mix, obviously, of value emails, which you should be doing anyway, and promotional emails. And then in your value emails, if you want to run a little promotion at the bottom of that, no problem, because the majority of your users are not going to be complaining because you're still giving them value. You're building trust, rapport, confidence and everything else. And even with some of the biggest uh, autoresponders, we do suggest that to build authority. It also keeps your subscriber base happy and uh, more responsive to your promotions in the future. So what we do here is I'm going to show you um, we're going to set up AWS real quick. Now, I already have several different setups uh, with Amazon. I'm just going to show you one such setup. So what we're going to do is come over to the um, console.aws.amazon.com. If you're not already a member, um, just sign up. It's actually free. And the cool thing is you only pay for what you use. If you're not sending out 10,000 emails a day, then you're doing it for a fraction. It works out to be... Um, 10 cents per thousand. And if you're sending out a thousand emails and it only costs you 10 cents, and in that thousand you make you know a few good sales, then you are well on the way to profiting. You're not paying hefty, crazy fees, uh, monthly fees to uh, different services. It's done deal. It's easy. If you're sending out 10,000 a day, guess what? You're still probably doing very well for a dollar. If you're not making your dollar back, there's a problem. But again, it's all about that value-based setup. So uh, it's very, very cheap. And uh, another system that we love is SendGrid. And this, this is the, basically the same principle. Um, this one, we do a lot of little bits and pieces of testing on. And um, th this account is just one of our testing accounts. So we send out uh, emails through this, and it's about the same price. It's about 10 cents per thousand. And that works out very, very cheaply indeed. But they all use SMTP. Uh, so it's if you're using Mailjet, Mandrill, it's basically the same principles. You've got to get your SMTP information, and then you're good to go. So um, these are a couple of test accounts we've been uh, playing around with. Actually, this one's a brand new account we were playing with here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Amazon SES, which is down here from the management console. And this takes you to the base setup. And you see we've done a couple of wee tests here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, grab, and you can see it says, hey, maximum send rate is five emails per second. Send 10,000 per 24 hour period. It says I've used zero of my quota because we were just doing some testings here. And then you want to, when you come over here, um, you can also click on this link to learn more about your sending limits. And again, it's all about the actual uh, delivery. And these third-party services handle a lot of your bounce um, requests and everything else for you. You don't have to worry about it from that end, which is really cool. So um, if you want to learn more about it, I'll tell you. Let me just um, open that up and kind of summarize it for you. Like I said, if you... Uh, have already sent your quota, your send request will be rejected. For example, if you set, your sending quota is 50,000 a day and you send 15, it's per 24 hour period. So you can't, say for example, you send uh, 25,000 at 6 a.m., 25,000 at 12 a.m., you've used your entire quota and then you're, you're not freed up until the next morning. So you know, kind of be aware of that. Um, you can't then kind of tip over because it's midnight. No, it's per 24-hour period. 
So you can also, as I say, once you've got um, a history with Amazon SES, you can increase your quota quite dramatically indeed. So uh, just kind of be aware of that um, with Amazon SES. It's a couple of limitations, but it's to keep the spammers out and to maintain a high deliverability rate, which is in your favor. And the same with um, Amazon SES. They'll tell you your reputation. So for example, my reputation with what we were doing with testing is 99.31. And uh, here's their, their quick guidelines on that, I should mention. Low bounce rates, very few spam complaints, uh, and that's all very good. Now, I've got a very high reputation, and we've been sending out using this as a transactional system for some of our membership sites. So we've sent out 80 emails. Just We're just using this to handle um, the members, and boom, it's all done and dusted, and we're sending out, you know, we've only sent out 80 today because I've been busy doing recording videos, funnily enough. But again, very easy. That's since December, and uh, we've just been doing that to a, one of our member groups, and boom, it's been great for testing, but our reputation because of what we're doing, 99.31%. Very good. And these guys, you just pay for what you want in terms of a... Um, level and it's actually very very cheap indeed in fact if i open up a new tab and just show you the kind of um, these guys are more marketing for you know built by marketers for marketers shall we say uh so that's very good as well as uh, mandrill mailjet or any of the other systems out there but let's have a look at the transactional email pricing and you can see here the most popular one is Silver. That's the one we're using for testing. And that gives us 100,000 credits per month. And we're not using anywhere near that uh, on our test account at the moment. But let's kind of break it down. Even their bronze plan, which offloads all of your mailing from your host to their system, is only 10 bucks a month. And that gives you 40,000 credits you can use straight away. And that's great. And if you want to high level package you can scale up and down as you see fit so let me just compare plan details at the moment so you've got um, like I said for the silver 100,000 and that's basically works out to be about 8 80 cents per thousand uh, just under and that's actually cheaper than Amazon SES and then if you go over that it's only like uh, eight dollars fifty uh, for an uh, another ten thousand emails or something like that so you know it, it's really or eight dollars sorry 85 cents per thousand after that just keep it in simple numbers but it's entirely up to you and then if you want to go bigger you can go bigger if you don't you don't and the cool thing is you've also got on the back end of this they have their own stats panel you can see your open tracking click tracking they handle all of that as well as part of the system and you've got um, relays and api uh, they give you uh, basically using a lot of these third-party systems they have um, all the items in place to help you with your deliverability and some of these features are only available in the silver plan upwards just as a heads up you can see some of these um, i won't get into the technicals of dkim and spf um, these are just items and basically ways of certifying that you are the sender of the email and uh, that just helps with deliverability and avoiding spam blocking and everything else and the spam filter testing um, with the silver plan you also get a dedicated IP and we do a thing called warming up your IP we talk about that in the advanced training if you've got the advanced training and that's very very powerful and there's all sorts of um, other things you can do as well but again we just want to make sure we've got everything ready to go it's all set up and uh, you know you just get your SMT imp information and you're ready to go but let's set up Amazon SES as well so I'm just gonna come over here I just kind of wanted to go over a comparison of the two uh, that we're talking about specifically here but once you're um, you've got your account and everything's good to go it literally takes just a few moments Go into um, your AWS console, uh, click Amazon SES. It will ask you for confirmation that you want to sign up. Yes, and that's it. I'll tell you about the pricing, which again is you just pay for what you use. It's completely free otherwise, but you pay for what you use and that's it.
that's it. It's literally minimal. And uh, once you're ready to go, just click on um, your SMTP settings here, and you'll get the server name, the ports, um, use what's called Transport Layer Security, TLS. Yes, you can. And then your authentication is your SMTP credential. So I'm going to generate brand new credentials um, just for this purpose. But let's take our SMTP information here. Now, if you're testing with this and it doesn't work, I should mention you might need to check with your host and let them know that you're using a third party email system because sometimes hosts will block accounts uh, and block a server from connecting remotely. So what we're going to do here is um, use TLS here and we're going to connect through port 465 and then we need to turn our SMTP authentication on. Now we need to get our username and password and we do that over here by clicking create my SMTP credentials. It's going to ask you to confirm the username which is your basically your uh, SMTP SES username and you just click create. Now you want to make a note of these because they will only show you these once. So this is the username and password. I'm just going to grab that and then paste it in down here and then we will uh, set up and create these ones here and close that. Now I'm going to regenerate those in just a moment because um, we basically I need to make sure that uh, my username and password are not public and everywhere else. So let me just go quickly reset that. Okay, we're back and I just reset those and passwords. So these actually credentials aren't actually valid. So we're not going to be able to send a test email. But I just wanted to show you that is how you set up and configure uh, Amazon SES. Now, try the different ports, 25 or 465 or 587, I think it is, as they say, and send a test email to yourself. If that doesn't work, check with your host to make sure they're not blocking those ports um, outbound. Now, the process I just showed you is exactly the same for Mandrill, for SendGrid, for Mailjet or any other system that allows you to connect via SMTP. Even Gmail has its own SMTP settings. And again, you can see here, just exactly the same. You just have to get the right um, smtp.gmail.com or SSL smtp.gmail.com for the connection and then the username and password and everything else. You just have to get those settings and it's very, very simple to do. The, um, some of these systems also do have integration plugins for WordPress. For example, WP Mandrill, SendGrid has their own plugins. You do not need them. They will conflict with IMSE Rapid Mailer because we basically take over the uh, internal WordPress mailing system uh, for the purpose of this. And uh, some of those systems will conflict with Rapid Mailer because you don't need them we connect directly to their services via our system. It's a very, very powerful system in regard to that. So I wanted to put that out there as well. So with that being said, guys, let's wrap it up for this video and I'll see you in the next video in just a few moments.